Can diet influence the taste of semen? What is the truth about myths related to circumcision and its impact on sexual sensitivity? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Diet can influence the taste of semen. Consuming certain foods, such as citrus fruits or pineapple, may result in a more pleasant taste, while the consumption of processed or garlic-laden foods can negatively affect the taste. The relationship between circumcision and sexual sensitivity is subjective. Some argue that it may decrease sensitivity by removing sensitive tissue, but this varies. The decision to circumcise often based on cultural, religious, or health considerations, and sexual experience depends on individual factors beyond anatomy. Historical origins. Although open relationships are more common today, there are historical examples of societies and cultures that practiced forms of non-monogamous relationships, such as some indigenous tribes and ancient civilizations. Impact on mental health. Individuals diagnosed with STDs may experience emotional stress, anxiety, depression, and feelings of shame or guilt, highlighting the importance of psychological support in managing these diseases. Impact on reproductive health. Some untreated STDs can cause serious complications in reproductive health, such as pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, and ectopic pregnancies. Impact on the porn industry. Sex toys have had a significant impact on the adult entertainment industry, with the creation of content specifically designed to interact with certain toys, such as automatic masturbators. Importance of foreplay. Foreplay including kissing, caressing, and other forms of sexual stimulation before penetration, is crucial for increasing arousal and pleasure in both men and women. Importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care involves taking steps to protect sexual and emotional health, including the use of contraceptives, STD screening, and establishing healthy boundaries in sexual relationships. Increase in vulnerable populations. Groups such as men who have sex with men, sex workers, people who use intravenous drugs, and those without access to health care are more susceptible to contracting STDs due to social, economic, and behavioral factors. In India, where sex education in schools is limited, some NGOs have implemented sex education programs for teenagers, using theater and creative media to address topics such as reproductive health and child marriage. Individual differences. What works for one person in treating anorgasmia may not work for another, as causes and contributing factors can vary significantly from one person to another. Influence of pornography. Excessive consumption of pornography can influence perceptions of sexuality and contribute to the onset of problems like premature ejaculation by setting unrealistic expectations about sexual performance intensity and passion. For some women, sexual positions involving a higher degree of intensity and passion, such as the screw or acrobat position, can be especially exciting. Intimate contact favoring positions. Some women enjoy positions that promote intimate and direct contact with the clitoris, such as missionary with a pillow under the hips or the spooning position, increasing their chances of reaching orgasm. In Japan, sex education tends to be more focused on biology and reproduction, with less emphasis on emotional aspects and interpersonal relationships. However, due to easy access to online pornography, many young people obtain information about sex from non-educational sources. Kama Sutra in Cinema Movies and documentaries explore the theme of the Kama Sutra, offering visual representations of its teachings and its impact on different cultures and eras. Kegel exercises. Foreplay can include Kegel exercises, which strengthen the pelvic floor muscles and may increase sensitivity and orgasm intensity. In some Latin American countries, 
sex education remains a taboo subject due to cultural and religious influences. However, there are growing movements to integrate it into school curricula as a way to address issues such as teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Legal and social recognition. Although open relationships are gaining acceptance, they are still not legally recognized in many places, which can complicate aspects such as child custody or partner benefits. Long hair fetishism. This fetish involves a particular attraction to people with long hair, either real or as part of a wig. Masturbation and body exploration. Masturbation can be a powerful way to explore and understand female anatomy, allowing women to discover what types of stimulation are most pleasurable for them. Masturbation and emotional well-being. Masturbation can help women feel more confident, better understand their bodies, and develop a more positive relationship with their sexuality, contributing to emotional well-being. Masturbation and vaginal lubrication. Stimulation during masturbation can increase vaginal lubrication, which can make penetration more comfortable and pleasurable during sexual intercourse. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Medications for erectile dysfunction and side effects. While medications like Viagra, Sildenafil, Cialis, Tadalafil, and Levitra, Vardenafil, can help treat erectile dysfunction, they can also cause side effects such as headaches, facial flushing, and vision problems. In Middle Eastern countries, sexual education may be a taboo subject and subject to cultural and religious restrictions, making access to accurate information on sexual and reproductive health difficult. In the Muslim world, sex education can vary depending on the country and religious interpretations. In some places, sex education focuses on abstinence before marriage and reproduction within marriage while in other places it may be more open but still subject to cultural and religious restrictions. Myths about sexuality. There are many myths and misconceptions about sexuality that persist in society, such as the idea that masturbation is harmful or that virginity is related to moral purity, which can negatively affect attitudes and sexual behaviors. Non-genital foreplay. Foreplay doesn't have to focus exclusively on the genitals. Stimulating other erogenous zones of the body, such as the neck, breasts, thighs, and ears, can be equally pleasurable and exciting. Nonverbal communication. During foreplay, women often use nonverbal communication, such as moans, sighs, and body movements, to guide their partners and communicate what they like and dislike. Open communication. Open and honest communication with a partner is crucial for discovering and satisfying each woman's sexual preferences. Discussing what is enjoyed and what is not, as well as trying new positions together, can strengthen the connection and intimacy in the relationship. Oral transmission. Although less common than vaginal or anal sexual transmission, some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, can be transmitted through oral sex, emphasizing the importance of using protection during all forms of sexual activity. PC muscle exercise. Regularly practicing exercises to strengthen the pubococcygeal, PC muscle, can help some men improve control over ejaculation. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,